He said it was being honored to carry in the American flag, the one that had flown above the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001, carrying that in the opening ceremonies. He said that uh, his teammates had chosen eight U.S. athletes to carry in that flag. And uh, as you may recall from our opening ceremonies, if you can think back that long ago, the flag is about eight feet by 12 feet. It's badly burned and torn. And so you can't put it up a flagpole. It has to be carried horizontally, gently. And they brought it in. Derek said when the announcer indicated that that flag was being brought in the stadium, they had expected that the audience would burst into cheers and applause, as had been done at previous places where this flag had been displayed. And he said, but as they announced it, there was total silence, complete reverence. And he said that, he said, we, we carried the flag in and stopped in front of the choir and they began performing the national anthem. And he said, man, it was hard to hold on to my emotions while they were singing those words and I was holding that flag. And then the choir did something he hadn't expected, he said. Now I knew this was coming because I got to choose as the head of the Olympics, I got to choose the version of our national anthem that the choir was singing. I chose a 1930s version of our national anthem by Robert Shaw in which you repeat the last line as a reprise. Only this time, the sopranos go up an octave and much greater orchestration. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. And he said, Mitt, this time as they sang it with that power, it was a gust of wind that blew in that flag and lifted it in our hands. And he said, for me, it was as if, it was as if the spirits of all those that had fought and died for American liberty had just blown in that flag. And he said, tears began running down my face. And as he told me that story, tears filled my eyes as well. It is that love of liberty, that recognition of the sacrifice of heroes proved in liberating strife, who more than self their country loved. It is that love of this land, that love of all that is America, that convinces me that we will do the right thing at this critical time. You're a big part of that. And that what you have here, then what you work for, what all of you work for and contribute towards, is part of that American spirit, to keep America the America that welcomes people around the world that bring skill and expertise here, that protects our family culture, that builds our, our faith in things greater than ourselves, that improves our schools, that allows the private sector to grow and thrive, that keeps the pioneering and innovative spirit alive in this country. We've got work to do. It's a challenging time. We're up to it. The work's gonna be fun. And we're going to do whatever it takes to make sure that America remains as it has always been, the hope of the earth. Thanks so much. Thank you.